Timber used to come in by barges from Avonmouth and pull up alongside in the canal, yeah. the Lydney Canal. It used to be offloaded from there with a big crane. And then it used to be stored outside. And then the logs used to be, go down into steam pits, big pits down in the ground, which was full of steam all the time. And when it when that was all soaking wet and steam, and they used to get that out of the pits, take it in and put it on the sli- what we call the slicer, it was clamped onto a big slicer that used to work on an angle and blades and it used to slice because oh, the timber was all nice and soft and it used to slice all the little pieces off which it would fall down. Well, when they sliced it, it then went onto trolleys and then it went down through the dryers because it had to be dried because all the timber was soaking wet like because it had been down in the pits. So it went through the dryers on conveyors and that was mainly all the girls done that. But when it came out of the dryers, it used to go onto a trolley again. That trolley then would go down to what we call the mescos. And the boys there would take it off and put it on the mescos, build it all up. And then it was squashed down mm. as tight as possible. And then I said that blade used to come across. They used to turn it round and do again the same. So everything was dead true. And then they used to paint, probably it was about as thick as that, about six inches, all this different timber, which had been sliced off. And then that would come through to us, and as I say, go through the um, feeders. And then from there, it would go then to be pressed um, in giant sheets, because the sheets, what we, the feeders, were big, eight to four sheets, Mm -hmm. or bigger, but then it was eventually cut down to eight to four sheets, Mm -hmm. or smaller ones. Then that used to go out to the warehouse, and then that used to be distributed all over the country.